Hi there, my name is Lucas, and today I wanted to talk to you about turning your filmmaking, creative work into a business, turning yourself into a freelance. I wanted to talk to you about some of the mindsets, some of the planning and strategies that I did that helped me become a freelancer. Bear in mind, I'm not a financial advisor. This is things that I've done that worked for me. Make your own research evaluate your own life and see how these may apply to you. First things first, savings. You need savings. You need an emergency fund because shit happens. Things will break. You're not going to get paid for three months and need to pay rent. Something's going to happen that you need money. Have that money and have that money at hands, either on a savings account within your account that you can quickly transfer to yourself or in cash or have that money at hands, but that's no beer money. That's no uh, Netflix is late and eat. no. Have that as an emergency. Something bad happens, that's there for it. After that, you go into savings number two, which calculate your monthly expenses. Really dive in into what you need to live. It might be a thousand pounds, it might be two thousand pounds, it might be five, fifteen. If you had no money and you had to survive, how much that is. So rent, utilities, food, those things. Calculate how much that is and multiply that by okay, I was a little ambitious. I did three months. Safer is six, I would say go at your own risk. I did three months. Uh, I already had some networking and things like that. So I believed that I was going to get on track a little easier. If you're starting from nothing and trying to create, go into a creative business, maybe have four to six months. That would give you a little more leverage to work with. Uh, and again, have that in a completely different savings, have that at your access. That might be, that is to supply you in case you're not making money. That's not for you to necessarily live off. That's a backup. Uh, after that, network. Who do you know that needs what you do? If you are a filmmaker, or if you are art design, or if you are an illustrator, or a photographer, or whatever you do, do you already work with people? Do you already have clients or people you worked with that know you do those things uh get in contact with them say i'm gonna go full time i'm gonna go full time into this if you need anything at any time i'm available i want to work with you because verbalizing it sometimes people go full time but they don't express it they don't talk about it People, if if your network doesn't know what you're doing, no one else would. But now they know you make videos. So if they need a video or if they know someone that needs a video and there is a massive difference, you need to embrace it. That needs to be who you are. Your social media. If you don't post on social media what you do, people don't know what you do unless they literally work with you. Don't expect to be the video guy if you're not showing yourself making videos behind the scenes is just as important as the video itself you gotta promote yourself you gotta show that you're doing things but make sure you're being honest make sure you're being truthful to what you're sharing and what you're saying don't say you have five years experience and can show an anari alexa if you can't share with the things that you know and do a tip on that would be if there's something you want to do if there is you want to shoot a podcast and you want to do like a video podcast and you have this client that wants that as well but you've never done it before something similar happened to me i had this client that was interested in making a video audio podcast and he was looking for someone to create that so when i approached him i told him like hey i have a lot of experience with interviews and i have a lot of experience with like long form content because i've done some events like some five hour events so i i have the equipment and i can shoot these in like a really nice way and i can edit it for you I believe that you need to be creative with the way you go about your business as you are with your business itself. Make sure when you're applying for creative jobs, you're complying with what they're asking you for. You engage with whatever they're saying. 
if you don't put your time into like replying to their message that would translate like, they will feel heard it's important for you to comply to what they're saying so that they feel like it's a conversation otherwise you'll just click on your website and read your bio you need to talk to them when you're applying for jobs cover letters for that and show your work reels if you do videography have a videography reel if you do commercials do a commercial reel if you do editing do an editing reel there's never too many reels if by any reason you want to do something that you don't have anything to show for really want to do this sports thing shoot it yourself make an example of it don't be afraid of doing trials and stuff i don't mean do it for the client for free i mean do it yourself and then approach the client but when i'm dealing with a client that's business i need them to understand that to sustain my business i can't do freebies all day so this was a little insight into getting into it but other than that, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. And that's it. Have a good day. Goodbye.